Usually when somebody asks me how long I have to train, I usually say long enough because everybody has a different level, everybody has a different pace, everybody, they learn some things faster than other people learn. And it's just, it's, it all depends on the person. It all depends on the situation, the way they're brought up. There's so many things that you can take into consideration. And usually when somebody asks me how long, it's, how long have I trained, I understand it's out of curiosity. But then again, what does that change? What does that do for you, you know? I could say five years, I could say two months, I could say two weeks, I could say four years, I could say one year. It doesn't matter what I say, it won't change your opinion, really. You know, um, and if you're asking me to base it off of how long it'll take you to learn or get as good as I am, that's pointless because the question isn't how long did it take someone else to do something. The question is, how long will it take you to do something? That's just that's how I think. That's how I feel. The first thing I learned, you know, it depends on a movement, like like if it's tricking, like martial arts, like or if it's parkour, or if it's free running. Um, honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I can remember that far back. It's you know, and like I could even go back to when I was a kid and I didn't even know that whatever I was doing had a move or had a name. But um, honestly, I, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the first thing I learned. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> When I first started, the main like group, the main videos and people and such that I used to watch was probably Three Run. They were probably my biggest inspiration there. Like they were the guys who got me into German bass. They were the guys who got me into like you know doing all the wushu and you know and this it was this is awesome watching them. And then after them, that's when I found out about David Bella and um, slowly then you started seeing things about the Elabaca and Ryan Doyle and there's so many other people. But it's just yeah. I think the, the main group that inspired me when I first started was probably 3Run and now I'm inspired by everything, like not even free running, not even parkour, not even people. I'm inspired by just anything I see. It just depends, you know, the more open your mind is, the more you're able to be inspired by. You know, I only have like one set favorite movement. There's a lot of movements that I like, and my favorite movement can change. It can vary from time to time. It can be like a cork one time, and it can go to be a Rudy another time. It can be to go from a you know, side flip to a waffle, to a simple Kong, to a simple flow move. But that's just, uh, yeah, that's just how I am. And uh, so, yeah, my, my favorite movement right now would probably be a Rudy off of a ledge. But that's just me. I started for the same reason everybody else really starts, because it's fun, because we enjoy it, it's a way of expressing ourselves, it's something to do with our energy. Um, like when I was a kid in martial arts, I I, did, I had so much energy, my sensei was, like, she was, I was driving her nuts, and she was like, man, there's got to be a way I can get this kid like to use his energy. So she started teaching me spin kicks and jump kicks and things like that, and that's what, that became my way of using my energy, and I no longer became a problem, and I was able to progress with my skills. and. It was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and that's that's why I started. I think that's the same reason why a lot of people start. You know, it starts with the interest, and when you begin, and you start doing it, and you're enjoying it, you want to keep doing it, and that's when you commit. That's when you keep going and going and going and progressing. But uh, yeah, I, and all in all, I started because it was fun.